When giant stars like Betelgeuse reach the end of their lives, they don't fade away quietly. Instead, they erupt in a cosmic event so intense it shakes the fabric of space itself, a supernova. These explosions are powerful enough to affect regions far beyond what we can even see. One of the most talked about stars in our night sky today is Betelgeuse, the red supergiant nestled in the Orion constellation. For decades, scientists and skywatchers alike have kept a close eye on it, and recent observations are stirring both curiosity and concern. Could we be on the verge of witnessing a stellar death unlike any seen in centuries? Betelgeuse sits on Orion's eastern shoulder, glowing with a distinct reddish hue. It's one of the brightest and most easily recognizable stars in the sky, visible even to ancient civilizations. Greek astronomers, including the famed Hipparchus, noted its unusual color as early as 100 BCE, describing it as reddish-orange. That color wasn't just aesthetic, it hinted at Betelgeuse's nature as a red supergiant, a rare and unstable phase in a massive star's life. This massive star is nearly 700 times larger than the Sun and significantly cooler, with a surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin compared to the Sun's 5,500. Its enormous size and lower temperature explain its reddish glow and make it a strong candidate to eventually go supernova. But when? That's the big question. In late 2019, something strange happened. Betelgeuse dimmed. Dramatically. For a star that's known for changing its brightness, it's a variable star, after all. This dimming was extreme. Its brightness dropped by nearly 40%, shocking astronomers. At first, some thought it might be the beginning of the end, that Betelgeuse was entering its final days. Even Professor Brian Cox, known for making complex science understandable, weighed in, likening the star to a ticking time bomb. But as 2020 rolled on, Betelgeuse started to brighten again. In fact, by early 2021, it had become 150% brighter than before, briefly becoming the seventh brightest star in the sky. This strange behavior has kept astronomers on edge. Is Betelgeuse dying? Or is it just going through a particularly chaotic phase? Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists now have new tools to explore these mysteries. Since 2021, JWST has provided high-resolution infrared imagery of Betelgeuse, revealing never-before-seen details. One of the biggest surprises? A massive ejection of stellar material, a kind of solar sneeze, involving 400 billion times more mass than a typical solar ejection from our own sun. That could explain the dimming. As this matter cooled, it condensed into dust that temporarily blocked the star's light from our view. Even stranger, that ejected material appears to have formed cloud-like structures, swirling across the star's surface in patterns that resemble drifting leaves. These patterns suggest that Betelgeuse's outer layers are unstable and possibly tearing apart, inching the star closer to its inevitable collapse. But despite all this data, scientists still can't predict exactly when the explosion will happen. It could be tomorrow, in a decade, or even 100,000 years from now. Whenever it does explode, the event will be spectacular. Betelgeuse's supernova will shine brighter than an entire galaxy for a brief moment, becoming as bright as the full moon in Earth's sky. Even though it's more than 600 light years away, far enough that we're safe, its death will light up the cosmos and give astronomers a front row seat to study how massive stars end their lives. This explosion won't just be a final flash. It will scatter the elements forged in the star's core across space, carbon, oxygen, and iron, the building blocks of new stars, planets, and even life. In a very real sense, the death of Betelgeuse will plant the seeds for future generations of stars and solar systems. It's cosmic recycling on a galactic scale. Until that day comes, 
Scientists will continue to monitor Betelgeuse using every tool available, from Earth-based observatories to powerful space telescopes. Its unpredictable behavior reminds us that even in the vast predictability of the universe, surprises still await. Betelgeuse is not just a dying star. It's a living laboratory, showing us what the end of a stellar life looks like in real time. So, what does Betelgeuse tell us? That the universe is dynamic, full of wonder, and ever-changing. The star's strange dimming, brightening, and massive outbursts aren't just signs of death. They're steps in a cycle that shapes galaxies. And one day, maybe not too far in the future, we might look up and see a new, brilliant light in the sky. When that happens, we'll know. Betelgeuse has finally gone supernova, and the universe has turned another page in its endless story. Stay tuned with Discovery at 2.0 as we continue exploring the mysteries of the cosmos, from stars on the brink of collapse to the birth of new worlds. The universe is full of secrets, and Betelgeuse is one of the brightest clues we have.